Hey y'all, it's Shelby. We're in Shelves Crafty Corner. Let's make a wreath. I'm gonna wait for you to hop on, and while I wait, I'm just gonna do a few things here on my laptop. So when you hop on, tell me where you're watching from, say hi. Hey, Aunt Janice. Hey, Deb. Deb, you made it. You made it to the beginning of the live. I swear one of these days I'm going to figure this out. But hey, I have my laptop now, so I don't have to stare into the light to see comments. Let's see. Maybe I got it pulled up. I made it. Woohoo! I'm so glad you're here. So, it's been a long day. I've been making a lot of stuff. I've been shipping a lot of stuff. I have no makeup, but I don't care. We're going to do it live. It's going to be super fun. Let me see if I can pull this up. Oh, whoops, see? There we go. Oh, now I got to meet myself. There we go. Okay, finally, I got it. Hey, Taylor. And Lori. Okay, I gotta start looking down here. Maybe I can see it more down here. I don't know. Hey, Alexis. Thanks for hopping on. Hey, Kayla. I think I just shared that one too many times. Oh, well, it's going to be fine. Every live, we're going we're gonna to figure this out. I swear. <laughs> Thanks for the hearts. So, I guess I'll start making this one. So, why don't we show some? But, I wanted to make a Christmas wreath, and I was like, let's just plan and go live. Why not? I'm gonna make it, might as well have some fun together. So, what's everyone been up to today? While I start cutting my mesh. I'm still gonna stare at my phone that I have it, but it's, it's fine. It's fine, everything's fine. I've been working. I've been working, working today. It's starting to get that time of year where you go from busy to a little extra busy, which I'm super thankful for. And I'm creeping up on one year in business. I was pumped when you liked two of my wreaths. I love your work so much. Oh, thank you so much. Whoa, they were awesome. You're doing a really good job. I really liked them. I'm pumped that you're here. That the what was that one wreath? I'm trying to remember what theme it was you shared. I really liked it. It was really cute. I think this is probably enough. I don't really like this mesh. It's kind of cheap, but we're gonna use it because. I'm doing like baby blue and red, and it was the only baby blue I have. Or, because it's like an ice blue. I'm such a groupie. <laughs> I 
I like groupies. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but I'm a groupie too. Groupies are my favorite. Hey, Karen Fox. Y'all, I don't know why I have this laptop out. I'm just going to keep staring at my phone. There's no point. I was like trying to make it easier so y'all aren't having to like watch me every 30 seconds go like this. But y'all are just going to get used to it. <laughs> I'm just going to squint. I'm using this 10 inch border mesh. I love border mesh. It seems so elegant, especially if you're using it against a cheaper mesh. It really helps hide it. I'm just making a big old mesh mountain. I'm probably gonna have to cut some more to be honest. It was the farmhouse Christmas and the peppermint one I did. Yes. What are you making, girl? Sarah, I am making a ice blue and red North Pole Christmas wreath. So I've had all of this stuff since last year. It was kind of in my overflow of um, too much stuff that I bought. So it's been sitting in my in my storage in my Christmas stuff so I just started rotating everything well not just probably last week rotated everything out took all my fall and uh, put it in the outside shed and brought all my Christmas in to put them in my inside storage so that I could have Christmas stuff ready and I'm glad I did because it's been really busy already hi Isabel and Margarita I hope y'all are having a great Monday night? Today's Monday. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's Monday. I'm sleepy. I did not sleep last night. And then getting up and getting the kids to school this morning. So, um, the five-year-old is already knocked out. That's why I'm here and it's quiet. <laughs> I don't know. My husband and Gavin might come through here later, but um, for the most part it's quiet because he is passed out. He went to school. Then we took him to Arahue. My gosh, I scratched the heck out of myself bringing my wreath in. But yes, I think the, I don't remember which one I was I liked so much, Alexis. I don't remember if it was the farmhouse or the, um, the peppermint. I never sleep. I have three kiddos, five, three, and one. Oh my Lord. I'm praying for you. My three-year-old kept me up till 3 a.m. last night, so I'm tired too. Maybe it was like a moon thing. Maybe the moon was weird or something last night, I swear. <clears throat> because I couldn't sleep. My kids slept good, actually. I just couldn't sleep. But my husband didn't sleep good either. The dog barked. It was like one thing after the other. I was going to put this up here and put the mesh on it because I ran out of room on my table because of all the mesh. So we'll just start this way. I really don't want to, though. I really want to put it down here, so I'm going to have to move this. We're going to play the mesh shuffle, and uh, hopefully it doesn't fall over the back of the table. So, I've been making a lot of, um, like, I, I call Grinch-themed whimsical stuff this past week, which everything I make is really whimsical, I guess. It's kind of my theme. It's kind of what I lean toward when I make stuff, so... I really wanted to make something different. Is that a 24 inch? Yes. I believe, well, I think so. Actually, this one, I didn't even know I had one left. I just cut the tag off of it. I think it, yeah, because it's a double ring. It's a 24 inch, but it didn't come from, um... <laughs> y'all. For one, I'm ashamed that nobody has told me this on here yet. For two, I think my husband just slid this under the door. It says you have something in your hair. I can't see it. So, if I have something in my hair, I'm just going to have to excuse it. We might have to redo this uh, clip. Babe, I don't see nothing in my hair. What the heck? <laughs> Okay, anyway, <laughs> this one is not from Hobby Lobby. It's from Warehouse Craft Supplies when I was having to buy a bunch um, over the summer when nobody had them. 
And so it's a good wreath. It's like a good quality wreath, but the backs of it, and that's where I scratched myself, the backs are like really pokey. And so I'm not a huge fan of that, but it is 24 inch. All that to say, yes, it's a 24 inch. He's messing with you. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. <laughs> How sweet he's looking out for you. Oh yeah, right. I'm surprised he told me. I'm surprised I don't have a sign that says kick me on my back for y'all to see later. <laughs> Gosh. So I'm seeing like a lot of new names. So when you pop in, say hi, throw me some hearts, throw me a share, tell me where you're watching from, do something. I'd love to know where you're watching from. Or if it's your first time coming across one of my lives. Come on in and hang out. You never know what's going to happen. Maybe my husband will send more love letters under the door. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's so funny. Just some stuff you can't make up. Kentucky. Hello from Indiana. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Marta. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, what was it the other day? Have y'all ever seen the movie uh, Son-in-Law? I watched it as a kid. Like, we had it on VHS because I'm old. Hi, first time watching. Hey, Mary. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. We're just hanging out. Tennessee, Leona. We were just talking about going to Tennessee. Y'all, I'm going to jump from subject to subject. Back to what I was saying about Son-in-Law. It's like one of my most favorite movies. I think Polly Shore's hilarious. My husband cannot stand him. And he came in the other day and he's like, hello. They reminded me of that. I don't remember what part of the movie it is, but it was funny. Anyway, long story short. That's what that reminded me of. Hello. Hello from Palm Bay, Florida. Wishing for cooler weather. Hey, Annalisa. I'll try to send some. Like, I'll try to send some your way. It's been pretty nice here. I've severely enjoyed it. <clears throat> Hello from Maryland. Hey, Cheryl. Okay, so y'all are all saying where you're watching from, and it's funny because um, we have been in dire need of a trip. I mean, I know we just went on one three months ago to the beach, but we like little weekend trips. And so we were going to go to Colorado up to Estes Park, and so that was like the main. We were more than likely going to go there. And then... We were like, let's do something different because we've been to Colorado before. We have friends up there. Hey, Juanita from Lafayette. Lafayette. My grandma's from Louisiana. Mobile, Alabama. I love going through there on my way to Destin. The weather here has been amazing. I'm telling you, it's been great. It's been awesome here. I've been so thankful for it. It's where you get to wake up and you got to put on a jacket. And then you got to put on some shorts, and the afternoon is my favorite. So, anyway, we were talking about uh, doing something different and maybe going to Tennessee, up in those mountains, or maybe just taking off. Hey, Ashley. Welcome. Um, taking off and just driving the East Coast line. We've always wanted to do that. And so, we haven't because I have kids. Two of them can ride pretty good, but uh, that five-year-old ain't going to make it. Am I in Texas? Yes, I am. I am in East Texas. I'm about an hour from Louisiana, so like the northeast, right there. Happiest town in the U.S. <laughs> what? Hold on. Scroll back up. Scroll back up. Go back up. Yeah, I am from Gladewater, Texas. So it's by, if you ever heard of Longview and Tyler, it's right in between. It's about two hours east of Dallas. My computer won't let me scroll back up. Hey, Raquel. Juanita, where'd you say you're from? Uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. That's right. Happiest day. Originally from Houston, been in Florida for a year now. Oh, don't tell my husband. He's trying to get me to move. We're actually, so now we're going to San Antonio this weekend. We are going to SeaWorld and the Riverwalk. And because we're going to do that, it's close. It's like five and a half hours for us. Um, so it's a lot closer than all of those other places to make it just kind of an extended weekend. And um, 
we can do all that kind of four day weekend type thing and they're doing the Halloween stuff right now which I think will be really fun go Astros woo, woo. I wish Astro World was still open I went when I was a kid and I was like that'd be so much fun to do that too this weekend we're actually thinking about going to a, a Spurs game while we're down there which we love soccer too so we're thinking about going to a um, MLS game but I think basketball might overrule that one so you know going to Tennessee for Christmas it's beautiful oh my gosh I want to go to Nashville so bad so very badly I mean I'm from Texas I love country music <laughs> and I love the show I mean I think Nashville is amazing and so I really would love to go one day but the good thing about this San Antonio trip is I have a really amazing husband who I hope's listening right now because he's so amazing that um, we're going to take the long way home and we're going through Houston. Do you know what that means? We're going to Craft Tex. And if you're on here and you don't know what Craft Tex is, go look it up. And then you can get excited with me because I'm going to try to go live while I'm in Craft Tex for all of y'all to see because I'm so stinking excited I just can't hide it. Yeah, I'm just going to stare at my phone. This computer is completely irrelevant to what I'm trying to do. It does not work for me. Finally got my outside ring done. Good grief. I was wanting to bring some 21 inch to go in this middle, but I didn't have none. So we're stuck with the little stuff and my little table. I need a wider table. So I'm trying not to make that mountain fall. And it's about to. It's about to be a mess. So we were thinking about not doing something and maybe going on a big trip after Thanksgiving to Disney World for Christmas because that's every little girl's dream, every kid's dream. Hey, Cammy and Haley and Marcy. Thanks for hopping on. We're talking about vacations and where to go if y'all wanna um, leave your input on where you're going anytime soon or where you want to go. I think we're going to, we might do Disney in the spring. So as much as I'd love to see it for Christmas, for one, Christmas is obviously a crazy time for this business. So I kind of can't do anything until probably the second week of December. And that's if I just slam the door on orders the first week of December. So, you know, busy times, busy times. Got to plan accordingly. I am actually coming up um, on what I, I opened my Etsy shop. It's been a little bit over a year, but as far as like in business, next week I'm coming up on my one year anniversary in this business. And to say it has been a whirlwind is probably a little bit of an understatement. It's been like everything I could imagine and plus some. For one, I'm a year in, I still love it. Not a lot of people can say that about their job. And uh, for two, I get to do it every single day. And I work more hours during the day than I ever have in my entire life. And I still love it. I still wake up and get excited when I put my phone on silent. Because if I don't, it'll wake me up all night. But I get excited when my phone says uh, a new order. And if y'all have an Etsy shop, you know what the cha-ching is. And when you hear that cha-ching, it's freaking fantastic. But I'm coming up with a one-year mark. And I'm excited. I don't know. I think I'm going to do, I might do a giveaway. I'll probably do a giveaway. Because, well, this is also about my private group, too. So, one thing you're going to learn in my private group is how to have and build an Etsy shop. So, I talk about it a lot because my first month and a half in business last year, I did 240 sales. So, I feel like I have a little bit of knowledge to share with the world. And so, 
the thing is, I know that I have those sales coming <laughs> this year. <laughs> that makes me a little bit anxious. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can do 240 in a month and a half, which, you know, a little more out there now, so I'm going to have to turn some people down. But that's a blessing, I think. Can't wait for my next box. I know where. Well, so y'all have the supply box. And that's probably what the giveaway is going to be. The next giveaway is probably going to be a supply box. Like a build your own wreath. It'll, have, it'll probably have everything in it that you need to make a wreath. And if you're interested in creating an Etsy shop, it could be something you make and it could be the first thing you list. It could be you know, your first sale. So basically you make your first sale off of something that you really didn't have to buy. And there's nothing like that first sale feeling on Etsy. There's nothing like it. Because I'm about 450 sales in and uh, just on Etsy. And I still get super excited every time it comes through. Every review, every favorite is still exciting. Because you're like, what? People like my stuff. Well, of course people like your stuff. You've been in business for a year. Obviously they like something. <laughs> Y'all, there's people out there. There's a perfect person out there for everybody. Everybody has a somebody. Just gotta do it. Do you prefer to do rolls or poofs with your mesh? I like the rolls. So the only reason I really do the poofs is um, if I'm trying to get just kind of a base filler, which is what I wanted to do with this one, but I didn't have any 21 inch, so I didn't do it. I don't like to do it 10 inch because it um, doesn't, it gets caught. So it doesn't, um, it doesn't feel like I want it to. And so, but typically I will always do the rolls around the outside more than likely. Congrats, that's great. I'm in the process of starting my Etsy shop. That's awesome, Cheryl. Just open it. You, it does not have to be perfect. Get you a profile picture. Get you a name. Get it open. Because if you get it open and you get something listed, especially right now, you have a super great chance of someone finding it. I'm telling you, Etsy loves that first sale. Just throwing my mesh down. Get it out of my way. Now that we're finally done with that. Whew, I feel like that's a career. Gosh. Alright, now we can start working. Throw a hook on there. Yeah, so I like the rolls better. I like the way it feels. Um, I use that on technique on my garlands. That's just my go-to. Okay. So this is our sign. And it's so pretty. I think this came from General Wholesale last year. I'm pretty sure it did. They're in Vivian, Louisiana. So they're not super far from me. I haven't been there in forever. I need to go. They're awesome. Whoops. Should have went ahead and put my tabs on here while we were doing the mesh. Really wasn't thinking outside the box with that one. My bad. So these are 3M tabs. You can usually just stick them on the back, but I like to put Gorilla Glue because, well, for one, I live in Texas. Now, most of my customers aren't in Texas. 95% of my customers come from Etsy and they come up north, from up north. Now, I don't know if that liquid was supposed to do that. I feel like it wasn't. no idea. Anyway, that 3M, when it gets a little hot, especially on the metal signs, now the wood's not so bad, but on the metal signs in this Texas heat, they do come a little unstuck and they will fall off. So that's why I glue them down with Gorilla Glue. This is a super glue gel. Works pretty good. So we're going to let that dry for a minute and I'm going to start cutting up some other. Actually, we're going to start tying a bow. I can't believe I haven't made this before now. I remember how cute it was too. But when you're in your first year of business, you get super nervous and you're like waiting for that perfect time to use that thing that you had planned out. And there's no perfect time, you just gotta make it. 
Because I spent the money on it, and now I'm not going to make any money on it, so I get it made and put it in my Etsy shop. If it's not made, it won't sell. It's a pretty good motto, I have to find it. And I love these colors. I think they're so cute. It's the only thing I have that's this color. So obviously I gotta get it made. So I'm just gonna make a really juicy bow. Because I think juicy bows give you good, big juicy coverage. Such a pretty ribbon. It really is. I love that icy blue, which we watched the, um, I love the Santa Claus movies. Santa Claus 1, 2, and 3. But I think 2 is my favorite. Anyway, we watched 2 last night, and that's what this color reminds me of, was the Santa Claus 2. Reminds me of the North Pole. I don't know why. It's kind of weird for that blue to be like a, I don't know, Christmas trigger, I guess. But, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm overthinking it. And I love this whimsical ribbon. And then we're going to put a little pop of something different. It's red and black and white. I think it's super cute. It says the North Pole. Totally changes the dynamic of the bow, which I love. That's what I wanted to do. So, on my lives, I've said this before, but in case you're new here, on my lives, you get to hang out. We get to make something together and, you know, just have some fun. In my private VIP group, that's where things are slowed down, things are zoomed in, you get more details, you get um, two tutorials a week. I'm always available for any questions, which some of my VIPers are in here and they don't ask any questions. They really should start asking more questions. I want to answer questions. So I'm steadily building the group though, so I'm constantly adding new things. I have so much more material to add, it's not even correct, it's not even funny. We're going to do another garland this week. We did a garland last week. We did a fall garland before that. Which garlands are my thing. In case you haven't noticed by my Facebook page. I make garlands. Out the wazoo. I make about 200 garlands for Christmas. 200. Ranging from 6 foot to 36 foot. So those are kind of, not kind of, those are my niche niche whatever so it's what that's what i do and so that's what i teach i also teach how to run your business how to grow your craft so if you want to join ask me how if you don't if you'd rather hang out here for free you can do that too but just know it's not as detailed like in my group they learn how to do this though they don't have to just watch me do it <clears throat> okay well, isn't that super cute? I think so. Also, it is hot in here. I'm really going to have to get a fan. I'm sweating my butt off. I like Kaysen says, I'm sweating, sweating butt out here. Sweating butt. Which I guess makes sense. this big juicy one in here and move on. I like it. Thank you, Juanita. Adios. 
too. I'm really liking these colors. <clears throat> I'm going to have to get some more. I'm going to get some more of these colors made. This would be really cute with a snowman. Some sort of snowman something. I feel like. Gonna have a little extra loopy. Let me go ahead and cut this bad boy off. How long have you been making bows and wreaths? One year. Pretty much from one year to the date. I mean, it's one year this month. Um, I started making them. I started making some stuff back in September of last year it was not pretty <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie thankfully like one of my first orders was um a, a friend and a local friend and so i made her give that garland back this year and i threw it in the trash this is what it is so i was like i'm way better now so you're just gonna have to give me that we're just gonna throw it in the trash we're just gonna have to start over Hmm. I think this one we're going to make another loopy because I love this ribbon. So I want a lot of it. And it's a really great filler. So, you know, a lot of people are embarrassed to say, Hey, I've only been doing this for a year. I mean, I'm one, like it's been one year, but I'm not. Like, I'm proud of where I am. I mean, if it gets any better than this. Oh, man. Can't really beat doing what you love every single day. Every single day. I've told y'all before, like when we're on vacation or when we're out and I go a couple of days without making something, I have like withdrawals. It's bad. It's like itching, itching to make something. Because I love it. It's fun. It's a, it's like an instant gratification thing. Like you get to take these raw ones. It's like baking. You know those people that are super good at baking, which I'm not. I'm not. I pay the professionals. But it's like baking. You know, you take your raw ingredients and you make something, you know, beautiful. Now. Hey, Shelby, if this one's for sale and you finish it, I want it. <laughs> well, it is. It is yours. You can have it. So, sorry, y'all. This one's no longer available. This one's sold. Cha-ching! I should make my own cha-ching noise, like on Etsy. <laughs> Thank you, Naomi. Oh, also, uh, when we saw you the other day, I was like, you walked by once, and I was like, I swear that's Naomi. But, like, I did not recognize you at all. And then I saw you before we left, and I was like, when I said hey, and I walked out and told my husband, I was like, I did not recognize her. I feel so bad because I feel like I just like didn't even acknowledge her. And he was like, I was wondering why she was walking by smiling. <laughs> well, I mean, she's friendly. So, hey. But yeah, this one's yours. Thank you. Girl, I don't even, even know you're going to like it. It's not even done. I got a bow on it. Those are my Christmas colors. Dang. Okay, maybe this color is more popular than I thought. I think I like steer um, more toward the lime and red and white. That's like my natural go-to. And so I don't really think about these colors. But I think they're so pretty. Especially with some snowmen. I think some snowmen would be super cute. Nope. We're going to go there.
Christmas colors are like mint and pink and all the colors of Candyland. Now I am going to make a garland for my front door. It's going to be Candyland, but it's going to have more of the reds and greens in it because it's going to have those enormous candy canes from Hobby Lobby and those lollipops. And it's going to be awesome. And it's kind of a flocked green garland as the base. So it's, yeah, it's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this sign on before I put any more ribbon. Oh gosh. Making me feel the pressure. Gosh, now I feel like a uh, short order cook. Oh, you want to read here? Let me make it real quick. I'll make one for you. Oh, I didn't trim those tails. I can't do anything without trimming the tails because then it just looks completely unfinished. You're hilarious. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad someone thinks so. To all the five people that think I'm funny. Thank you. <laughs> My husband says I'm funny, which I think he's like the most hilarious person on the planet. So like, you know, maybe I get it from him. Or maybe he gets it from me. Mm. No, he's hilarious. I guess I'm I'm missing one. There, there it is. You are hiding. I saw my Harry Potter wreath you killed. Thanks, girl. I didn't give you all the other Harry. Like, that's the only Harry Potter wreath I've ever made. I mean, I didn't necessarily think that one was going to be in super high demand, but, you know, you never know. But I have some more um, of the wands and skeleton keys. I need to give them to you so you can just kind of sprinkle them around your house. Okay. This is going to go here. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, y'all, this is the not fun uh, part, so bear with me. Because I'm already sweating. I got to tie this in. So, my phone died, so I missed all this. Oh, <laughs> I had to, I, so I have this really fast charger, and I don't remember where I got it from. It's plugged in over here. I don't remember where I got it, but I wish I knew, or I'd tell you, because I was like, I want to do a live, and my phone was like, you have 7%. So, I plugged it up, and that thing will charge to like 50% in five minutes. Oh my gosh, where is this wire? Why are you way over there? Okay. We're going to lay this down. This is working my nerves. Gravity is not in my favor. Matching garland. <laughs> Brandy, would you like a matching garland? I definitely need to get with you and get a candy cane wreath made. Yes, you do, Geneva Page. Yes, thank you. I love this one. Precious colors. Aw, thank you. I apologize if someone has asked already, but what are you using to hold your wreath while you make it? Are you talking about this board? I bought this off, of, off Etsy, and it's like one of the best made things that I have ever come across. Because I used to make mine um, flat on the table. Y'all, I cannot get this side on. Oh my gosh. I used to make them flat on the table, but um, it hurt my back. And so I really wanted to um, design up. I like to put my mesh on flat because it keeps the back flat. And so... I came across this lady on Etsy. I think it's like $55, which is a steal because it's very good quality. It's very well made. I want to paint it. I want to paint it like gray, I think, but it's phenomenal. It's pretty heavy. And um, this slides out and just slides into here. And it has a little hook on it. And it's just like, it's perfectly made. I love it. I wonder if I can find, hmm. I wanted to find her name, but she's probably, I mean, she was, um, she had a lot of sales. So if you type in like, uh, what I type in, wreath board, wreath stand, you could type that in. 
and uh, probably find it. But for the price, it's well worth it. Because I was not about to make my own. That was going to be a hot mess. A matching garland would be beautiful. I think so too, Naomi. What do you think? Matching garland would be awesome. Bought this. See, that's what happens when I buy this ribbon last year. Now I'm not going to know where to find it. Thank you. Yes, please. If you do, please let me know. I'll keep looking. I would have thought Brandy would have brought you a fan because you're special to him and he takes good care of you. <laughs> Babe, turn the air down. It's hot. What's up, brother? You like it? Thank you. Yes, Lynn. As soon as I get done here, and if I forget, shoot me a message. But when I get done here, I will um, look up her Etsy shop and get that to you. Okay. I knew. Um, how did I miss that tail? Now that I do my scissors. I think I'm laying on them. Okay. Back up we go. That made me sweat. Thank you. Now I can feel it. Thanks, Gavin. <laughs> Gavin got my back. Gavin got me. Okay. All right, we need a few more tails, and we're moving on. This is the longest part, y'all. I always tell my VIP the same thing. I'm like, I'm sorry, it's taking forever. But if you're like me, you like to watch the whole thing. Now... In my group, I don't talk this much. Yes, I do. But it's mainly explaining what I'm doing. Or, or, when my husband and my kids are home and you hear Kaysen screaming at Gavin because he's not playing soccer properly. Those are the things you usually hear in the VIP. You would be hearing it tonight if Kaysen's asleep. You're welcome. Save yourself. short little whimsy. Loving that North Pole ribbon. I think that is precious. Precious, precious, precious. I don't know why I only cut four of those. Hello. Hey, Irene. I love that wreath and the ribbon. Thank you, Deb. I'm loving it, too. It's so different. Really liking it. I have to do some more on these colors. I'm going to find a snowman. I swear I need a snowman for this. I want to use a little bit of this, too. This came from Walmart last year. Actually a pretty cute ribbon. And very inexpensive. Love your talent. Thank you, Sherry. You're so sweet. Now, there's very few Walmart ribbons I will buy, but this is one of them. And I won't ever buy a ribbon that doesn't have wire in it. Does a striped ribbon have a blue in it also? Striped? This striped? Are you talking about this one? I'll wait and to see if you can respond. Because this one is. This one's blue and red. It's that same blue color and red. This one is like a candy cane, so it's red. Yeah, that one. Now, this North Pole one is not. It's black and red and white. But yes, I was like, that one goes awesome with the other one.
And this is a good stopping point, too, if you wanted to. I think. Just bows and ribbon and a cute sign. You could definitely get away with stopping here. Go up there where you're supposed to go. Now, the only thing is it gets a little tall. <laughs> I like designing on a table, but I did find that when I was designing on a table until I, you know, obviously taught myself that I struggled um, when I would put the wreath up, everything kind of faced down. So obviously I didn't like that. Hey, Charlene. Okay. Oh. Oh, I got a blank spot. What am I doing? Oh, we are moving on. Just kidding. Not yet. Be careful as to not get my finger. It's healed up nicely, but I'm not certain that I did not cause um, some permanent nerve damage. <laughs> it's a little tender still. I really wanted some more everything in my Etsy shop has sold out so fast that I wanted some more stuff to list in my Etsy shop so I did a couple swags today and uh, I did this one with every intention of being something else to list in my Etsy shop but I mean if it sells dear in your life what are you gonna do I have no complaints zero complaints I'm done with the ribbon for now. Straighten that back up. Now we get to add the fun stuff. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Clean up a little bit. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start adding some pine. Because I like flocks. I feel like you can't have like this mint blue without the flocked. Look at some flocked pine up in here. We're just gonna chop this up so I can use every piece individually. much is your wreaths um so they vary it really just depends on what goes in them but typically my wreaths are about 125 125 is where I start babe I can hear my echo <laughs> oh he's watching me <clears throat> so they start about 125 and they just go up from there, depending on how custom you want. But typically when I'm buying supplies, I'm like, I really want to make that. I try to make it to where I can charge 125 Looks like your easel is wooden easel stand by Mimi's Hobby Wreath for $55. You're exactly right. Me, I knew it was called Mimi's. Maybe I didn't know, but I kind of knew. I feel like I knew. But yes, Mimi's Hobby Wreaths for $55. That is where I got it from, Lynn, if you're still here. Ooh. Or maybe if you catch some replay, Leanne, if you come back later, you can see it, but you can let me know. Thank you. Okay, you got it. Awesome. Yeah. And like, 
I don't think the shipping, I don't think it was free shipping, but I don't think the shipping was a lot either. So I would, I would highly recommend. I've been very pleased with it. I love that. Thanks, Mom. I'll come back down. It's a little too far. <clears throat> Jace, what's up? Welcome on my live. I'm not in your group, so I didn't get to um, join you with, uh, with, uh, I just went totally blank. Oh, and I forgot to tell you I was going live too. Hey, but I did share it, okay? I shared it. I'm so bad about that. Sorry. Anyway, I didn't get to watch you with, uh, we well, need to get in my group. I know. I didn't get to watch you with Miss Etsy herself. Yeah, I didn't text. I didn't message Michelle. Yeah. Hey, Michelle. What's up? Hey, I even have my laptop sitting down here so I can read my comments without staring into my phone. I'm getting a little better. You would think by now I'd have this a little more mastered. But you know what? You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If I just do what I do. All right, let's add some marshmallows. <laughs> hey Rachel Shelby I need to learn how to make your garlands well get in my group thank you Jace for sprinkling I appreciate it oh we just lost a marshmallow I'm gonna have to go get it I think uh, these marshmallows, these marshmallows sat on one too many cargo ships for way too long because every stinking thing I've gotten, these marshmallows are all over the place. They are not glued down. My group is $14.99 for the first month and then $19.99 a month after. You know, tradesies? So my group is very affordable and you get two tutorials a week plus so much more because I need to learn how to make all your little DIYs. Thank you, Sarah. Well, let's trade. I'm up for some tradesies. about some bartering and trading I tell you I can do some serious trading okay so I just did one pick and split it into three because I think that gives plenty of marshmallow vibes when will you do a tutorial on a garland? Kimberly, that is our tutorial Friday. We, it's either gonna be Candyland or Rose Gold. One of the two, I have both to make, so one of the two will be tutorial Friday. We had Etsy class tonight, which is very helpful and informative. Oh, Rachel's in your group? Yeah. I know, I saw you post about it. And then I was like, I'm gonna do a live. And I was like, I don't have time to join his group. I saw you post about it like five minutes before it happened. 
was like, I don't have time to join his group before it happens. So I'll have to catch you next time. Catch you on the flip side. All right, let's add a couple of lollipops. Oh, no, I'm almost forgetting. Look how adorable this is. It's a little mailbox. Little mailbox ornament. We're just going to snip that off. Is it? Oh my gosh, it opens. You can put something super cute in there and just like prop it open. Maybe if it was painted. That'd be adorable. Where do these supplies come from? Regency. Actually, so that's what I was telling them earlier, but you missed it. You were late, sorry. Uh, the ribbon and the sign came from General Wholesale last year. <laughs> yeah, Jace, join my group and I'll tell you. Stop asking for free stuff. Michelle, I saw your post yesterday. You were, mm. It's one thing to share some stuff, but some people just really try to get up in your business, like a lot. But these all came from General Wholesale, which everybody should check out. But this stuff came from my Etsy shop. So you should check it out. And that link should be pinned. My link tree should be pinned to my Facebook, my VIP group, and my Etsy shop. In case you want to go. In case you want to check it out. <laughs> okay. Where are we going to put this adorable mailbox? I think right there is a super good spot. All right, and it's really lightweight and it's wooden, so we're just gonna glue it down. Oh, I said that, but it's not one to stay. It'll stay, it'll stay in a minute. <laughs> FOMO, I know. That's what we like to create here in Shelved Crafty Corner is an environment of FOMO. <laughs> I have FOMO. That's why I'm in all the things. I don't want to miss anything. Okay, I think that's going to stay. And so I also brought this little cup. These all came from General Wholesale last year. I'm pretty sure she'd have them this year. FOMO is fear of missing out. It's an essence we create. That just popped right out, so that's good, because I think this is super cute, too. I don't know if we have anywhere for it, though. That's going to look halfway decent, because our sign's kind of huge. But I also think this coffee cup is so cute. I don't want it to be too close together, either. That's just too much. It's too heavy. Nope, it's going right there. Super cute already. Thank you, Aunt Janice. Y'all, some of my stuff on my comments is uh, in a different language. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm only fluent in English, and sometimes I struggle there. I live a sheltered life. Stop. <laughs> Okay, I love that. So I have this other little hot cocoa. That's super cute too. But I think we have enough of the ornaments like this. So I think I'm just going to place all the other stuff I wanted to put in there. I brought some of these too, but these candied ones are super cute. They came from Hobby Lobby last year, but they don't really go and I don't like it. Lollipops. I should have brought some more lollipops besides these two. I should brought some bigger ones. That's okay. That is not where I wanted that originally. That is where I wanted that. There we go. Thank you, Cammy. I'm so glad y'all like it. I can't believe I let this sit in my stash for a year. 
But, you know, it is what it is. I got so busy that I law I didn't have enough time to make everything I wanted, which is a good problem to have. Okay, peppermint. These came from Hobby Lobby, from the Hoblobs. We're just gonna take these off, and glue this in down somewhere amongst all the other stuff. Oh, right there. Right there in that empty space. Oh my gosh. This glue is so stringy. I'll go one up top. And that is when I'm peeking out just little extra accents. That just set the tone more. Yeah, so I should have brought another lollipop to go right there. So, I'm going to post a picture later. When you see it, there'll be another lollipop. Because I'm not going to run and get it right now. Okay. I feel like we need a little more pine on this side. A little more. to really fill in that side because I already have that ribbon over there so I don't really want to like pile it in with stuff. I have that loop. So I just want that snow flocking to pop off of it. Oh my gosh. Oh this hot glue is about to drive me crazy. It really sticks to that flock stuff. Or it gets really stringy. Alright any more candies? Yes right there couple more and we'll be done. Because your wreath is going to be viewed from the top, the side. Hey, welcome in. candy that I feel like belongs in here somewhere. And it does. It's going to go right there. Thank you, Maxwell. I appreciate that. Yeah, so just peeking out right there. And we are done. That was our finishing little touch. I think this really does pop off on camera. Like I'm looking at it. When you see it in person, you kind of have to walk away and then come back. Put a green area by the mailbox somewhere. Hmm. I knew that. Let's see. I got one little piece of pine left, so maybe we'll stick it. Get a little snow going on right there. Now get out of there. Don't cover up my sign. Get back in there. All right. We are done. I can't get over how pretty. Thank y'all so much. I'm so glad y'all like it. And thank y'all so much for joining me tonight. If you have any questions um, about joining my VIP group, you can click that um, link that I pinned to my Linktree account. You can shoot me a message if y'all want to join. It's $14.99 for the first month and then $19.99 a month after. So just... Um, I mean, you get a lot. You get at least eight tutorials a month. You get tips and tricks. You get a little bit of everything. So we have a lot of fun over there in our little community. So if you're having some FOMO, come join. So, all right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.